Hello, and welcome to me, Dazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. Okay, so today what I want to do is I've actually done a lot of work off camera, okay? So what I want to do is just run a clip for you um, that's going to give you um, a bit of a tour, um, a world tour if you like, um, so you can see what I've been up to. Um, I have done... Um, a lot of hours of uh, grinding and building however there's still a lot 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 more to do but progress is being made with this build um, one of the new things that I've done is um, an ice farm um, and what I'm going to do I'm going to head over there because it's a long way away <laughs> I'm gonna head over there and I will meet you there after um, after this clippers run so Sit back, enjoy, and I shall chat to you soon.
welcome back. So here we are at the ice farm. Um, I just want to say that this ice farm is based on a tutorial um, created by Blazed MC. Um, worth checking out. Um, it's a really cool ice farm. Um, it can be operated AFK and also in manual. Um, I had to make a few cosmetic changes uh, to it and I also increased um, the storage on it. But it's, um, it's a really cool system. Uh, let's just get around here and we'll get up. You, um, I mean, you would have seen a bit of this in the um, in the clip that we just played. Um, basically, you've got this uh, stream of water, um, which you can use. Uh, well, you can use it in manual as well, but it's basically meant for when you go into AFK mode. So you're constantly moving around. As you're moving around, it gives um, time for some ice blocks to develop. And as you come on to um, this side here. Um, start breaking the blocks. Um, this ice here. Um, in the original video tutorial, I weren't sure whether um, he said to use um, blue ice or not. But basically, I just used normal standard ice. And it kept melting, despite the fact that um, there was this uh, block above the ice, which is supposed to stop it from melting. But... What I did is I've placed all the standard ice with um, blocks of blue ice and none of that melts, so it's all good. Um, the signs are there um, to, uh, um, to control the water flow so it goes around in one direction. So, uh, there's my... Oh yeah, remember when you're breaking ice, remember you want to be using um, a silk touch pick. Um, don't uh, don't use one without silk touch because you'll just lose all your ice. Uh, okay, now I've made it a bit tricky to get in here and I've done this on purpose. Um, hopefully it's um, mob proof, but basically you need to crack, uh, well, open the trap door first and you need to crouch to get in. Uh, and this is the pickaxe that we need to be using, the silk touch one. Got a bit of use on it already. Um, let's have a look what we've got so far. So basically what I've been doing is I've been spending time here uh, creating ice. I've been started converting it into blue ice and I'm going to need... Um, I think I'm going to need it probably at least eight stacks of this blue ice um, mainly for the um, glass monorails that you would have saw in the clip and the reason why I want to do that is because I want to use um, boats for traveling through there but more on that later we'll talk about that when um, when I'm showing you around there um, so we've got our silky blade so let me give you a little bit of a demonstration Ooh, I've got a crouch to get out Let's get up here, up here. Let's, let's start from here, so here we go, here we go. Now you need to be careful here as well, it, it is five blocks, so when you are F AFKing, you shouldn't um, break any of the other blocks that are behind because they're five blocks away. And as you may or may not know, the reach when you are breaking blocks is five blocks in front of you. But if you have the cursor, say, down here, for example, there's a danger that you could break a block or break a, a stair back there, which is not a disaster, but it is a bit of an inconvenience. So you want to get your cursor placed around about there. And that will ensure when you're in AFK mode, Obviously, you, you'll keep like swimming around like this, and your pick is flirting like so on. You shouldn't break any blocks. So let's um, let's put this to the test to show you. So yeah, all we're doing, look, is is breaking the ice. 
Now every now and then some of the ice will come out of the water onto these, um, what are they called? Pressure plates, <laughs> that's what they're called, they're called pressure plates. Um, so you'll end up with some, as, well you can see a couple of ice blocks in my inventory now. Um, again, not too bad of a, an inconvenience. Um, I mean, what you could do is just make sure that you've got plenty of um, free inventory slots available um, to take into account. Um, you may be collecting some ice. I mean, it all depends on how long you're gonna AFK for, to be honest. Um, but it's easy enough just to put it back in anyway, just for the uh, cart to pick up. See that the thing in top already. But yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be uh, manually breaking the ice, just be very careful that you don't break blocks as well, because. No end of times I've broke blocks and had water going all down here. Oh, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> water going all, all the way down here and over here and so on. Um, I think actually we want to... Well, actually, let's not go to sleep. Let's go and repair our, our pit ready for its next use. So, quick way of doing that is just... I haven't got no XP farm around here. I haven't got no XP farm anywhere, to be honest. Let's just go and kill some mobs. And with the XP that's generated, we should be able to re repair it. That pickaxe. Ouch, I'm always doing that. Right, okay, let's go, go, go. Come on. I don't. Ooh, wow. Make sure got that. Oh, here we go. Right. I'm still wary of that end of an around on <laughs> I need to be careful where I'm looking. So I do not wish to look him in the eye. You know what drama queens they are. Look it in the eye and he's on you straight away. I don't need any um, gold arm. I've got quite a bit of that in stock ready for um, ready for our next visit to the uh, the Never, which will probably be when we go to fire the dragon. Oh, imagine, but... oh we, we repaired. We repaired. Let's just get grab this. All right, let's run away, and we'll just go and get back to sleep. Uh, We'll be back down here and we'll make our way back to the main base. And we're going to go by ground on horseback. So you'll be able to see um, a bit more of like the paths that I made and so on. So it's quite a long way back, but I've got quite a fast horse and he can jump really good as well. Jump really high, but he is fast. Um, so I'm just basically going to follow the paths. I mean... Um, looking at the paths, uh, probably do some more detail work later. Maybe make turn these uh, basic torches into lampposts, street lights type thing, or you know some kind of cool lighting. Uh, you probably noticed um, the Schizoman Scumpus, <laughs> which was here way before I, I did the paths, because obviously I, this was when I had to come finding this snowy biome so i could make that ice farm yeah this is this is why i named him speedy because he he is speedy i should have named him jumpy speedy jumpy did i name him speedy jumpy or just speedy i can't remember in fact doesn't matter whether i can remember does it because i can just do that let's have a look oh speedy hoss blade okay well at least he's speedy let's go so yeah, this, um, these paths, uh, it did take quite a while uh, to do it. I didn't want to put too much thought into, you know, how good it looked or anything like that, because I just wanted to just quickly, you know, get it done as quickly as possible. Um, but, you know, we can come back to it and do some detailing work on it. Ooh, it's a 
and waters. Are these your friends, buddy? Hello, horsey horsey. Okay, I'm going. I want a little bar sheet. Right, how do I get around? I'm sure I went around this one, actually. Yeah, I can get around here. We've just taken um, a diversion away from the path a moment, just so we don't have to go through that really deep water, which would be a pain with Mr. Hossblade here. Beady Hossblade, even. Right. Um, okay. I think with... If, when the water's only one block, it, you're fine. It's just when it goes more than deeper than one block, that's when he dismounts you. So let's just put that to the test. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Let's just see. Yeah, that's correct. So let's get him dragged. Come see ya. I don't, don't know why I always get nervous that the lead's just going to break so I'm always constantly looking behind me when I'm pulling along animals with the head. Get it back up on here. Actually, I've come to um, one of the bridges that I made. Again, it, you know, it looks a bit, it looks a bit janky because I didn't put a lot of time or effort into it. Um, it was all about speed, getting things done as quickly as possible, and the sun setting. So I think we need to take a um, little, take a little kip. Now we just put that up there. Take that, take a little kip. Hope the horse don't run away, which you won't do because he's still on his lead. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Though. I always thought when you did something else like going to a bed or something I thought that would disconnect the lead but that's pretty cool I must have a tight grip in my sleep anyway this bridge yeah well, as, as I say it's nothing special um, but it's got potential to make it into something um, you know a bit more better a bit more detailed um, but obviously that's for future DAS because for now we need to make our way back, don't we? So, be careful on here, it's not very wide either, so I need to just be a bit careful. Get over here. Yeah, saves a lot of time rather than dragging the horse through all that water. And, you know, much more quicker to have the bridge. Okay, and we're moving and we're running. Um, Got another bridge here, again. Um, oh, don't go down there. Let's go down here so I can possibly show you. So, yeah, this was uh, just like a massive... You know what Minecraft um, world generation's like? You know, that was just like a massive hole. Um, I mean, you can see, look at it. Just ridiculous that was. <laughs> so I just had to do a, you know, a bit of terraforming. Nothing special, nothing great. Um, and then quickly knock this bridge together this one's done out of um slabs so um just surrounded by soil at the moment but as i say when we've got the time we can give it some um detail it up spice it up a bit make it look um nice um i mean it's not that we're gonna be coming out here all the time i think i think i'm only gonna need this um the ice for the monorails and if we look here look the path forks here so if we go that way and that path takes us through um the village where i've got the villagers um trapped um i say trapped keep it safe where i've got the villagers safe yes they're not trapped they're safe and we've got this way um which just goes um it just bypasses the village but the, both paths ultimately um, end up in the same place so it brings you out more or less the same place which is just across the river from um, the main sort of like starter base in in that building there that one is going to be the iron farm that's where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build an iron farm there this one as it's more central that one's going to be the, um, a villager breeder so that can feed well initially it will feed the iron farm but it's also going to feed um the uh, trading hall 
when we're going to fill the fill up with villagers for trading. So it just makes it a bit more central area. Only downside is that I didn't quite think it through. Because um, obviously we're transporting villagers. Let's just go over here and you'll see what I mean. I, I should have just gone on the other path, shouldn't I? Um, but never mind. I'm going to just take you up anyway. So yeah, I'm going to be transporting um, for the village breeder. I've got two two villagers in this house here. So they're in there. There's two on them in a boat. And they're going to come here and uh, transport them with this rail system. Now the thing is, if I leave it like this, it's interfering with... In fact, shall we... Let's go up, let's go up. Can we get in? Can we get in? Yes! So, I mean, it's all right initially bringing them in here. Um, as I say, we're going to make the iron farm here. I've covered these holes in with dirt because I don't know whether I'm just going to fill them in with some nice little pattern or whether we'll have extra monorails going from there and from there. As, as well um not really thought about it um basic pattern but anyway yeah if you look here down the middle bit here this is where all the packed ice is going to be so i need to double check um the the amount of uh blocks it takes it's each each one is well over 120 away because i have to make sure that um you know we're building a village beater and iron farm and also going to be having the trading all there needs to be uh, plenty of distance between them so that they don't break. But down the middle here, this is where the packed ice is going to go. So, um, as I say, with a rail network, I think I'm going to have to build, maybe build something at the side of the monorail to have the um, to have the villagers for transporting because this middle bit's going to have all the packed ice and there'll be a boat what can be used. Um, so village breeder's going to be in here um don't know where i'm going to set it up or how i'm going to do it i mean maybe use this um these central sections maybe that's why i subconsciously marked it out to do that but possibly so i don't think i really need to put anything in this but i want to make a mob spawner and obviously it doesn't want to go down to the to below in the in the pyramid compass it wants to be around here somewhere um, where is it on that one there so that would be all right 12 so that would be 13 blocks high so that would be quite a, a nice drop from and maybe i can make some sort of gaps here and have them drop in here and stand here Slapping on my way, building up the XP. We'll see, we'll see. Um, obviously, I'll need to uh, build that in. But in these um, corners, you can see I've got like gaps left. I'm going to get some um, a bubble up evator and a bubble down evator. And also, we're going to have some um, lava in two of the slots as well. So it just looks uh, so it just looks nice coming down. Um, I'm a bit daft, aren't I? Why did I come up here with this horse? No, not that way. Uh, can we get can we get him down? I don't think so. No, he's not going to go through there. He's just going to kill me. You know what? Let's do a bit of magic and let's just wish we were down there. And as if by magic, we're down below and our horse is safely stored away. So, that's all, that's all good. Just want to pop over here. And off there um so let's just get up here and we can have a quick uh 
quick viewage of what's going off. So, as I say, that one over there is going to be um, the iron farm. That's where the iron farm is going to live. Um, I did a bit of terraforming around there. Again, nothing, nothing brilliant or anything like that. Just, just basic, just so I could get the monorail so it looks like it's actually going through um, this hill or mountain. Um, I think I might do some more detailing on, on that at some point and either make it into um, a biggish mountain or maybe just have it as a dirt hill. Uh, I don't know if you noticed as well, one side of it, um, it was kind of like left out so, it, so that you can see out as you're traveling through there. And over here, that's where we're going to put the village breeder. And as I say, that's central to the iron farm so it can feed that. Um, well, it'll feed it initially anyway. Or if anything <laughs> if anything bad happens, um, it'll be easy enough to replace any villagers that might have accidents over there. And over this way, um, as I say, down within the compass pyramid itself, that's going to be our trading hall. So we can easily feed that with villagers coming from over here. Why did I do that? I don't know. It just happened. It's just one of those things. Um, we can't always plan for what's going to happen. And we can't plan for when we're going to fall. And here we're going to uh, build this up a little bit. I don't want to make it too big. It is going to be some kind of tower, but I don't want to make it too big. So I don't want it to outshine the uh, the pyramid build behind it. Um, so just, you know, medium size towerage. Um, we can't make the mob spawn here, which would have been nice because we have the AFK fish farm down there and as you may or may not know um, it needs to have light coming in so for instance I can't close this off I can't put a roof on there to close it off because then the AFK fish farm just will not work as I say it's a shame that um, I couldn't have done this uh, building on camera perhaps to a time lapse or or something similar but you know i just wanted to get the get some progress made but this is how i've been building up the uh glass columns so we'll just use one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and let's get glass there and then we get one two three four five six That. Oh, and I put <laughs> I put them in the wrong place. Well, I suppose it like it won't matter, will it? Because I can just go one, one. Let me just break one and one, can't we? Um, so this is basically just to more just to give you an idea how, how I've been working on this. Um, Break that top one. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's go a bit. And oh, I think we need to break another one. And move down a bit. There we go. Let's go all the way down. Right then. Um. So yes, yeah, nothing too exciting um it gets the job done which is the important thing so let's do it here this time one two, five six seven eight nine ten seven twelve slap a bit of glass there and that's all the way up whoops yeah i know wasted a piece of glass but you know um still got plenty of um reserves over there uh to go mining for more which i'm going to need to do at some point actually because um the glass is starting to get a bit depleted not seriously depleted but 
you know, there's going to come a time when we're going to need more. And you can never have enough glass, can you, to be fair? Yeah, so... Ooh, and he nearly went off the edge. That would have been fun. Not. Yeah, so... Um, I think that's going to kind of wrap it up uh, for today's episode. Um, I know it's not as long as the previous episodes, but still a bit of um, bit of content there. Um, next episode, um, we're going to get the uh, we're going to get the village. We're going to get that building completed. Um, we're going to get some vill a couple of villagers transported over there, and we're going to get the village of breeder set in motion once that's set in motion then like i say we can feed this area here for the trading or downstairs and we can also feed the iron farm okay i'll leave it there and i shall uh catch you in the next episode bye, bye.